Hello, brothers and sisters and YouTube family. Hope you guys are being blessed. This message was given to me the following day. President Trump tweeted that he had the COVID virus. Mother Claire had a dream that night of the New World Order taking over our nation and all the elderly people in our nation being forced to move out of their homes and round it up. We here in the community were all praying for him and have been praying for him and Melania for speedy, healthy recovery. More importantly, that this would be a wake-up call for our nation and bring conviction in our president in the areas the Lord has told us to pray for him. That he wouldn't be focused on making America great again, but making our nation holy again. That our laws and our ways would be righteous according to the word and will of God. The Lord has made it clear, despite the opinion of the mass media, that Donald Trump is a brilliant man, anointed and graced for this job as president of our nation by God. He is a believer and has given his life to the Lord. But just like any believer, there's still many areas in our lives that need sanctification. Just like Cyrus and Isaiah, he will in fact do the Lord's will. But we must pray for him, behind him, and stand with him in this election. Here in Isaiah 45, it says, This is what the Lord says to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I take hold of to subdue nations before him and to strip kings of their armor to open doors before him so that gates will not be shut. I will go before you and will level the mountains. I will break down gates of bronze and cut through bars of iron. I will give you hidden treasures, riches stored in secret places, so that you may know that I am the Lord, the God of Israel, who summons you by name. For the sake of Jacob, my servant of Israel, my chosen, I summon you by name and bestow on you a title of honor, though you do not acknowledge me. I am the Lord, there is no other. Apart from me, there is no God. I will strengthen you, though you have not acknowledged me. So that from the rising of the sun to the places of its setting, people may know there is none beside me. Upon having that dream, Mother Claire called us all to urgent prayer for our nation. I went into prayer and I heard the Lord say, Resistance from the New World Order is coming. And I said, Lord, but isn't it already here and so apparent? Jesus began, No, beloved, to a few, yes, but to the majority of the masses, no. My people are starting to wake up, but not to repentance that needs to take place. They're waking up by lies being told to them by the deep state and by the lying media to condition them for the new world order. Continue to pray for your present fervently. It is by your prayers, my beloved ones, that he's still alive. This sickness of COVID was deliberately planned to weaken your president and to touch him as the most vulnerable state. But I am in control, my beloved ones. I permit all things and won't allow their wicked plans to go forth. This will all be used for your presence good, as I'm visiting him and his wife daily with consolations and a heart of contrition, that although president with all the protection he had, I can allow sickness to touch him, and that his only protection is from me. I hold his life in his hands. All of these thoughts and so much more have been going through his mind that his life is but a vapor, and he must live it for me. He must be serious to do my will and see the errors of his ways. This is my provision for your prayers, my people, that your president's heart would be softened, and he'd be convicted of the errors of avarice, greed, and honor of men that have consumed his life even as a child. That is all being broken down right now in him and his wife. I am indeed forming him into a new man once he arises from the ashes of death. Debt to these old, infected areas of his life, I'll raise him up to bring this nation to righteousness and repentance. I am by no means done with him yet. This is only the beginning of what I intend to do in his next term, if my beloved brides and people continue to pray like never before. The New World Order and shadow government will take advantage of this time, especially during the elections. They have already planted snakes within the Republican Party to cause much infighting and confusion in the ranks so there'll be no unity, ballots stolen, and smear campaigns within their own party. But just like I did for Gideon, so will I do for your president. By causing confusion in their ranks and infighting amongst themselves so their plans won't prosper, they will continue to incite the people and masses to protest, riots, and false grassroots movements of new independent parties who seemed for the people, especially geared towards the young minds of this world and in universities and colleges all over your nation, under the guise of democracy and freedom. 
when they are funded and very much a part of this new world system they so desperately want to enforce, but it is not yet time. My young ones, please don't fall for these propaganda. Please don't fall for these riots, protests, false flags, and movements. They are not at all by my spirit, but created by wicked men and sustained by legions of demons to cause you to doubt, hate, and eventually lose your faith in me. Taking up arms and trusting your own strength and wisdom that will always lead you to death. A soldier in my army doesn't get involved in civilian affairs. All of these things fed to you by the lying media are lies that my people have fallen for for too long. A soldier of Christ fights on their knees in peace and walks in love, not with civilians in the crowd who are truly the blind leading the blind. COVID is a very real plague and although man-made was used as a test run on the nations by these wicked ones of how to gain control of people's lives by inciting fear, restrictions, and complete confidence of ruling powers over the masses. Declaring true freedom comes from obeying the laws placed there to protect. That's how it will begin, my people, in the most subtle ways that feeds your logic and practical mind. This time, the focus was on health. Soon, it will be against faith. These are one of the many things I've permitted, and will continue to permit, to bring my brides, my people, my church, and nations to repentance. You need not fear, little ones, but know that I am is in control. What I'm asking is for your continued prayer and sacrifice like never before. Pray, pray, and pray some more, my dear ones, for your president. For deep contrition, conviction, and repentance, that I may raise him up, shining in my righteousness after this battle. Pray that the plans of the New World Order in this election will be thwarted, and that infighting and confusion will be sent to the enemy's camp. Pray the masses would come to the light of truth, especially those of my brides who call themselves by my name, would vote according to my will, and the plank would be taken from their own eyes that they may see clearly in my light of truth. That was the end of Jesus' message. Lord, we thank you for your word. May your word go forth and not return void. Jesus, we pray right now for President Trump. We lift him up. You're anointed, Lord. You're appointed in office. We thank you for his life. We thank you for the grace you put upon him. We thank you. We give him a heart of David, Lord God, a man after your own heart to do your will, Lord, despite what people see, what people think, or despite what they say about him, Lord. We cover him with the precious blood of Jesus, and we stand with him. We pray that no one form against him and his administration will not prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray right now that we just send back every error, assignment, and curse that's been signed against him and our nation, Lord God. Send right back into the enemy's camp, Lord God. We incite right now in the name of Jesus, fear, confusion, distraction, infighting, and in the ranks of the enemy's camp, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, just as you did get in, Lord God. May they turn upon themselves, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we pray for our enemies, Lord. We pray for those who truly feel they're doing the right thing. We pray for the salvation of all those in the deep state government, Lord, for Biden and Harris, Clinton, many others, Lord, that they may come to the light of your truth and be converted and have salvation, Lord. We pray that the plans of the new world order and the in this election will be thwarted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord God. And we pray the masses, Lord God, will come to the light of your truth, Lord God, especially those who call themselves believers would truly grow in discernment, to come to know your will, Jesus, to stand with you, Lord God, in this battle, Lord God, and the veil of demonic lies will be removed from them, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, and they'll come to trust, Lord God, you're appointed, you're anointed, President Trump, Lord God, in this next term, and this next this next election coming up, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. God bless you guys until the next message.